everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Every time we have friends coming to Southern California, they ask where should they go, what should they do. And the number one thing I always recommend is the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. And it is reopening post-pandemic. They have some new stuff. They have a new friend boutique. They have a new exhibit called Heroes in Action Made Here. Made that, here. Yeah. It's made here. <laughs> it focuses on the Harry Potter and uh, DC superheroes. They have a new gift shop. There's so much to explore, so much to see. Come with us on this adventure. During the pandemic, they built a whole new building house, the beginning of the studio tour. It's where you pick up the tickets. It's where you can go to the store. You can actually go to the store without even tickets to the studio tour. And they have some fun photo ops, including the Triwizard Cup and the Starbucks, because you need your coffee before you go on that tour. So we're actually here today at a media event and they have some fun drinks for us to try. This one is called Hermione's Potion Punch and it's club soda, cranberry, blueberry juice topped with raspberries. But I just love how it's like gurgling in there. <laughs> it looks like a real potion, doesn't it? Yeah. Is this a love potion, do you think? Well, you're already in love with me, so I'm not sure. I know, you're right, so we would never know. Yeah, you mean not, not having to taste it. Ooh, it's good. I don't know if this is something that they're going to be selling here or not, or if this is just like a fun thing for this event, but either way, I like it. So you start off the studio tour in this room. It's a new room showing the history of the Warner Brothers studio. And one of the cool things, this has a miniature replica of the WB water tower. And also, you're walking over the actual studio itself. So I don't know what building I'm on right now. But. Watch out! <laughs> Every time I look at the WB water tower, I just think of Animaniacs. What about you? Speaking of Animaniacs, the studio has a huge history with animation. And they have these like miniature sound stages. This is soundstage 10. Don't sit on it. It's not a seat, guys. It's not a seat. So over at Universal Studios Hollywood on the tram tour, they have this list of all the stuff that's currently filming on the tram when you go through the sets. And here at the WB tour, they actually have a digital sign telling you everything that's filmed in all the different sound stages around the lot. That's fun. Anything good? Lucifer uh, and Ellen. <laughs> a bunch of different stuff. So from there, you board the tram and take the tour. And like I've said, this is one of my favorite things to recommend for people that are visiting LA to do. Because for your money, you get like a whole lot of time going through sets from movies and TV and you get to get off the tour. Yeah, you actually get to get off the tour and walk around the physical sets, which is so cool. Like you don't get to do that when you go on the tram tour. At Universal Studios. Yeah, and at Universal Studios, depending on what's filming, you might not see any of the back lot. Here you see a ton, and it's it's kind of catered to what you are interested in. But unfortunately, today we we're here on a media event, and we didn't get to see the full tour. And after that, they leave you off at Stage 48, where the the walkthrough museum kind of experience begins. Yeah, and there's apparently a Friends Cafe or something here. <laughs> Central Park. Yes. <laughs> So they actually had this Central Perk Cafe here before, but it is now completely different with an updated menu. Everything is New York inspired down to the chips that you could get on the side. They have specialty drinks based off of, you know, your favorite friend's character. I don't know any of them. They're not my friends because I've never watched yeah, the show. He's a fake fan. Peter doesn't like friends. He's totally, you're totally a Ross. I he doesn't even know what I that means. I don't even know what that means. And I'm a Phoebe, I think, maybe. Right? I, sure. <laughs> right next to the Central Perk restaurant, there's actually a whole new Friends experience. There's a gigantic gift shop, and there's tons of set pieces from the show. So if you want to sit in Joey and Chandler's chairs, you can sit in Joey and Chandler's chairs. If you want to go over and pretend that you're Gunther as the barista in Central Perk, you could actually go over there. They got the couch. And it's so fun because you could actually get your food and then come over here and like hang out. Like you could literally sit in these chairs and eat your food, which I think is so fun. And then once you're done, you could buy some merchandise. You can even buy your own LED neon Central Park sign. 
<laughs> they have everything here. All right, this is officially my favorite thing in this entire store. You're my lobster. You're my lobster, Peter. You're my lobster. But I don't like lobster. He doesn't get it. So the next part of this renovation is called Action and Magic Made Here. They have completely done a new exhibit which features Harry Potter and the DC superheroes. And here we have the gates of the Arkham Asylum from Batman Forever. The actual gates. Can yes. you believe it? That's so fun. <laughs> and then there's Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad and the Joker. And oh my God, they got Mr. Freeze, Arnold Schwarzenegger himself in the Poison Ivy costume. I was not expecting Mr. Freeze. That's amazing. Part of the DC exhibit is some props and costumes from Wonder Woman 84. They have everything. They have Maxwell, Maxwell Lord. They have Wonder Woman herself. They got Cheetah. My favorite one though, way at the end, we have Steve Trevor in his 1980s gear with his fanny pack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they used to have a sound stage that had the Batmobiles, but now it seems like they've completely redone this area into kind of like a Justice League Batman Batcave. Oh my god, this is very, very cool. Look at this photo op. Oh, that's cool. It lit yeah. up as you touched it. That's awesome. It looks like, like, what does Wonder Woman do? Is she like... <laughs> Unpopular opinion, but I actually really love the Justice League movie. I love the original and I love the Snyder Cut. And I love that they have all the costumes that were actually screen used and worn by the actors. My favorite, I think, the coolest one is Cyborg, for sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not an actual costume. Oh, you don't think so? It was like CG, I think. Why you gotta ruin, why you gotta ruin my dreams I'm just here? I'm saying nobody's actually wearing it. Oh yeah, you're right, it probably was CG. Okay, whatever, Peter. This is cool. They have like little areas celebrating each of the characters. So they have props like these daily planets from Man of Steel. Look at this photo op. You're all about the photo ops. No. Well, like, this is so like interesting because it's kind of like one of those Instagram museums. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where like there's just a bun bunch of fun photo ops everywhere. I never know what to do in the photo ops, though. <laughs> Well, they have a bunch of his capes hanging right up there. They have the Krypton Spear from Batman vs Superman. And here is the area for Aquaman. They have his trident, which you can hold in another photo op. I take it back, Aquaman's my favorite, not Cyborg. <laughs> This might be my favorite part so far. They've they've recreated a part of the Bat Cave, from the armory to the computers. And look at that! You can actually look out. There's there's the T Rex. They have all these like noises in here. I really feel, and I feel like it's colder in here. Is that just me? It does feel like the AC like, is amped up. I here. feel like we're in the Bat Cave. Well, look at that! So they got the Bat Pod. They got. Tim Burton's screen used Batmobile from Batman 1989, the Batwing from Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Remember when Zack Snyder killed Robin? Yeah, I remember that too. Oh, this is cool. They're celebrating some of DC's Warner Brothers history with the original Linda Carter Wonder Woman costume, Christopher Reeves Superman costume, and Michael Keaton's Batman costume. There's two major sections to this exhibit. First being all the DC stuff. Second being all the stuff from the Wizarding World. Oh, that is cool. They got the flying car hanging above us. And they also got the Marauder's Map from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The best movie in the Harry Potter series. And the best book. That, that's true. They have this whole interactive section where you're in Newt's Scalamander's shed and you get to see all the fantastical beasts, which are my favorite parts of those movies. And there's this interactive book that you just touch the character that you want to see. I like the Niffler. So let's see if we can find him. Oh, there he is, see him? <laughs> oh, I love him because he loves gold. 
<laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> That's why you love him? Well, one of the reasons. Look, I'm gonna go into Newt Scalamander's briefcase. So you put your phone here and it looks like you're coming out of the briefcase. <laughs> We're in the Dursley's home. They have the cupboard under the stairs where I'm Privet Drive. Where he used to sleep. I know. It's actually kind of roomy in here. I don't know what he was complaining about. Yeah, it's actually a lot bigger than <laughs> I thought. I wonder if this is the like actual dimension. It probably is. I like how they even have like the they've recreated it all. Oh my god, talk about another fun photo op. Yeah. So you're gonna lay in Harry Potter's bed? Am I allowed to? I I don't know. I'll just like a photo op from when Harry got his acceptance letter. This is like the moment that every little kid and grown woman dreams of. <laughs> finally being accepted to Hogwarts. My letter finally came. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they have a recreation of the greenhouse from Hogwarts. The screaming mandrake is gonna scream. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll put you back, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> I want one of these for our house. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a recreation of the Great Hall here and you can get sorted into your own house. And because Kitra says, what do you say I am? I think he's a Ravenclaw or a Slytherin, but for some reason he took the quiz and he got Gryffindor. So let's see how accurate this actually is. I'm gonna go test it out. There's nothing hidden in your head the Sorting Hat can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. Honorable to the core. A head like yours is a joy to see. Powerful power! <laughs> ah! Your boldness knows no bounds. Yes, yes. You're clearly a Gryffindor! Whoa! See, I told you. I told you I was Gryffindor. <laughs> told you. Mm -hmm. so the next section is the potions classroom. Oh my god, look at this. This is really cool. What standard is it? Look at that. Potion 317. Oh they have every kind of ingredient you could ever need in here. What am I going to make? Is the question. <laughs> Are you going to be making a potion today? Yes. I told you that I was going to be brewing up something in here. Out of one Bezor? Yeah. Okay, that's one. A dash of standard ingredient. <laughs> standard ingredient. Mistletoe? <laughs> Would that be standard? Oh no. Oh no, it's already up. <laughs> Add powdered unicorn corn. Alright, got it. Oh no, it's red. Oh no. It's not good. So I did mess up. It's okay. It okay. These you know what? Are sensitive. I'm gonna start over. Okay. <laughs> There's always a take two. We're in Hollywood, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. So I'm gonna add one. One of these. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's one. A dash of this. A little bit of this. And then finally. Yeah. Here. Come on. Turns blue. That is an effective antidote. You did it. Pass potions for the day. Pulled you know it. Not everybody is perfect. Sometimes you gotta go again. It took, many, it took me many times I first got here. It's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's so yeah. fun. It looks like they have an extra layer here. So if you download the Harry Potter fan club app, you can do extra stuff in this this exhibit. We're kind of like on a rushed tour today, so we're definitely gonna have to come back for sure, download this app, and do all the extra things. Yeah. That's exciting. Would you like to hold the Academy Award? Oh, sure. Is that a real Academy Award? It is. It's oh. that one here in the bottom and the one. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's heavy. Yeah. Whose Academy Best Award is this? Uh, it's the Best Documentary Award in 1949. Wow. Oh, wow. So much for oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I don't even know who to thank. I'm overwhelmed. I just, I can't believe I won. I know I didn't think 
that I was gonna win. I was not prepared for this <laughs> he today. Even born I know. When that came out. You guys, this is very heavy. I should be wearing gloves. I feel like I'm getting too many fingerprints on this. But I just want to thank all of you for liking and subscribing <laughs> to our channel. It's because of you. Yes. That this was possible. Thank you. <laughs> As you exit this exhibit, they have a bunch of awards. Some of the best picture winners. Bye. They're all waving us Oh, they're all goodbye. waving goodbye to us. <laughs> yeah. Bye. That was fun. And of course, like with any attraction, you exit through the gift shop. This is a brand new gift shop and it is huge. <laughs> so here in the gift shop is where you can get all your Warner Brothers studio gear, including t-shirts, water bottles, coffee mugs. And if you want, you can even get the water tower in a snow globe. I mean, the Hollywood sign is nowhere near that water tower, but... What's up with you and gold? I don't know. I just like it, okay? Jeez. I have a bunch of awesome coffee mugs here, including this one that I've never seen before. It has two handles. It's gizmo! It's not your gizmo. It's not my gizmo, but it is a gizmo. Yeah. And they also have other Gremlins mugs as well. So many different things. They even have Pennywise. You've ever wanted to drink your coffee out of Pennywise's skull? I never have, but maybe someone out there would. I don't know. Or what about drinking your coffee out of a Wonka bar? You can do that here. Now that I could get behind. <laughs> <laughs> they got Warner Brothers Studio Spirit jerseys. They have them in rose gold. They got them in pink. They got them in blue. So if you want to celebrate your trip to Warner Brothers Studio, in the back of your... They even have toothpick holders. Oh. Isn't that nice? I mean, the two picks are a little small. Like, when, I know. how would you get them out? It's like because they know. go. Like that <laughs> this small. is like a double, a double toothpick holder. Don't question it. Oh, I really love this T-shirt. This is the old Warner Brothers Studio logo that appeared in front of like a bunch of movies and stuff. Oh, I like it. Does it, does it work? Yeah, red is I mean, a good color on you. Is it? It's different. I mean, I am Gryffindor. Oh, that is true. Wait, is Gryffindor red? Wow, fake fan. <laughs> yes. What I love is they don't just have like the basic t-shirts. They also have these ones with fun designs like this colorful Warner Brothers logo, the sweatshirt with the water tower, a bunch of different stuff. Honestly, way more stuff than I was expecting. Even a wine glass. <laughs> Look at this. It's not a Starbucks mug, but it's totally trying to copy the like. No, it's not? You know. I was expecting like very generic looking Warner Brothers logo merch, but a lot of this is kind of cool. Look over here, they got a Warner Brothers leather hat. Oh my God, is it really? I don't think it's le real leather. It's like a fake leather. Yeah, it's a fake leather, sorry. Like 30 bucks. Sorry to break it to but you. If you want, you can get the jacket, the Warner Brothers garage jacket. <laughs> be as cool as this guy. I'll never be that cool, Peter. I will never be that cool. <laughs> I mean, they have a whole section of hats, t-shirts, mugs. Each, like, you know, you're a Warner Brothers actor, you're a Warner Brothers stuntman. Yeah. Stunt woman. Stunt woman. Heck yeah. That's me. <laughs> See all those stunts that I just did in there? Yeah. I mean, that was potion making wasn't a stunt, but... They even got a stunt woman t-shirt, or if you're a writer like me. Oh my God. We normally don't show the kids stuff just because we don't have children, but I wanted to feature at least one of the kids items. <laughs> stunt baby. <laughs> they even have a stunt baby, a little onesie. Or, or bazinga, bazinga. Yep, they got it, it all. But I just thought the stunt baby was funny. Yeah. By the way, why is it stunt girl, but then the it's stunt man, not stunt boy? That's weird. They got a Mitchell BNC camera from 1932. And this is the camera that they used to shoot the films. <laughs> it's, it's huge compared to the camera I'm holding right now. The, according to this tag, they shot Casablanca, Cool Hand Luke, and Barry Lyndon, not with this camera, but with this model camera. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're not going to put that like out in the open for like kids to grab. 
Although they did let you hold a real Oscar. They did. I asked the guy, I was like, what if I dropped this? And he was like, well, we're hoping people don't do that. So if you don't think you could hold an Oscar, please don't do it. Because don't ruin it for everyone yes. if you drop it. Don't, don't be the lady trying to steal the, the, the pickles or the cucumbers. Oh, yeah. I wore my Living with the Land t-shirt today <laughs> because of that lady who tried to steal the cucumber. I don't support her, but I just thought I'd represent a little bit. I found what we're missing in our lives. Ellen <laughs> branded Why? boxers. Should, should, should we get them? I just want to clarify right now, this is not a butt check. We're not butt checking this, okay? I draw my I draw my line in the sand somewhere, and this is where I draw it. No, we do not need these, Peter. Anyway, what, what is this? Is this from, like, Big Bang Theory or something? I don't recognize. I don't yes, understand. it is. It's soft oh. kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Happy kitty, sleepy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Oh, I don't Obviously. know anything about Big Bang Theory, but they do have the Big Bang Theory spirit jersey. Wow, so many spirit jerseys. One of the places you can visit on the studio tour is the Fountain from Friends. And they got it in a snow globe. Why, I don't know, but you can you can get it for your, a gift for your friend. Okay, this is ridiculous. I think it's a pillow for your couch of the Friends couch. Why is that ridiculous? Or you could get Phoebe's little guitar. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I like that. I actually really love all this fun Friends merch. Like they have a bunch of these giant mugs. Like you know how they used to drink out of these giant mugs on the show? Uh, yeah, I remember. I never watched Friends. <laughs> Peter, they used to drink out of these giant mugs on the show. This is just like the show. It's awesome. Oh no. Look at this. That is awesome. How freaking cool is this? It's so It like caught my eye. It was like glimmering over here. I was like, I need to see it up close. I'm shocked they don't sell this at Universal. Wow, this is beautiful. Peter, they actually have spirit jerseys for the individual houses. <laughs> <gasps> Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. Oh my god, why am I so excited? This you were so way too excited over this. I've never seen a Sierra jersey with the houses before. <laughs> They've got them all. Even that Slytherin. <laughs> you want Hermione's dress from the Yule Ball? You can actually buy that. I'm surprised that there's like so much stuff here that I've never seen. Like, there's so much Harry Potter stuff at Universal Studios. And there's so much more stuff here. And they even have the wands. Yeah. You know what's fun about this? Is all the wands, right next to the wand, there's a photo of whose wand it is. Like this one is like a dragon wand. Like what? <laughs> I've never seen that before. And then this one, it's the, the wand of the bout, the bout truckle. I, I'm probably saying that wrong, but you know, from Fantastic Beasts. Like, is this a real, like, I don't I, know. I've never seen that before. I want this. So I just learned a little bit more information. So the Harry Potter character wands you can get over at Universal Studios, but they have some exclusive wands here only at Warner Brothers Studio stores. And those are the like the bow truckle, the dragon wand. We're gonna show you the, the more exclusive that you can't find anywhere else. This one is the Phoenix. Like, what? How fun is this? <laughs> and then this one right here, it's modeled after Hogwarts ex itself, like one of the, oh, that, the spires. That is really cool. How cool! And this one right here, the Thestral. Creepy. What I love about these is they're so much cheaper than the ones at Universal Studios. Are they cheaper? Yeah, they're, they're like, this is only 40 bucks. But I mean, obviously they aren't the interactive ones, but you could pretend that they are. <laughs> but yeah, so you could come in here and get like two for the same price that you would at Universal. They also have these wands for the specific houses themselves. So a green snake for Slytherin, the blue raven for Ravenclaw, the yellow badger for Hufflepuff, and then of course the red lion for Gryffindor. <sighs> I think you need this one, Peter. <laughs> Technically, no, technically, I know, technically Peter's a Gryffindor, but can we all agree that he's either a Slytherin or a Ravenclaw? 
No. Am I right? Gryffindor. The coolest wand of them all is the remote control wand. So you can actually use this wand <laughs> to control your like DVD player or Blu-ray player. Really? Yeah. Oh Just my God. press that button. Okay, we need that. I don't know what you do with it. You go like down a channel, up a channel. <laughs> One of the things that's cool about this gift shop is it has props from the TVs and films on display next to all the merchandise. And they have a DC section that has all the DC merchandise you could possibly ever want. They even have graphic novels, which I like. Th thanks, Warner Brothers. Some of my favorite merchandise is like in-universe companies like Wayne Industries or this Kent Farms t-shirt. So I mentioned that this place has a bunch of exclusive merchandise. One of them is this t-shirt right here. It's the Warner Brothers Studios logo, but it has all the comic book characters in there. You can always tell if something's exclusive. It has the, the Studio Tour Hollywood logo on the shirt. How cool is that though? Really cool. And this one, not so much my, my cup of tea, but also an exclusive. I kind of like that one. I love this Wonder Woman t-shirt. It's in that same kind of style as that other one you were just showing. I like this one more than that other one. Should we get matching t-shirts? Here's another one of the exclusive t-shirts. It's Superman in front of the Warner Brothers water tower. And I just realized that Wonder Woman shirt that you have right there is actually her in front of that like fountain that's in like, what is it, Friends? Oh, really? The Friends fountain? Oh my God, that's yeah. so funny. So these, these are exclusive to Warner Brothers Studios Hollywood. Oh my gosh, I just keep finding more and more and more spirit jerseys in here. Look at this Wonder Woman one! I like wow. the gold embellishments on that. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, it's Wonder for Wonder Woman 1984. Wonder Woman 84. And I didn't realize before, but the comic books that I showed you are actually exclusive covers made just for the Warner Brothers Studio store. They can only be bought here in Hollywood. So much stuff in the store, we can't show it all. They even have stuff for the animated fans, so if you like Looney Tunes. There's a ton of Looney Tunes merchandise, but we, we just don't have enough time to show you it all in this vlog. Honey, are you going to buy anything? What up, Doc? Who needs Mickey ears when you could get Bug Bunny ears, right? I, I dare you to go to Disney wearing those. Did I just say Bug Bunny? I meant Bugs Bunny. Yes. Don't come at me in the comments. <laughs> They even have original animation cells signed by Hannah and Barbara. It's like $950, but that is cool. If you want to take the tour home with you, they got this official guide. Features pictures, I'm sure, information from throughout the tour. And when you buy stuff, you even get in a cool Warner Brothers Studio Store bag. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go on the actual backlot tour today. Maybe one day we'll come back and film that for the channel, but it, it is the greatest thing ever. But the new additions. Oh my God, so much fun. I feel like that's just the icing on the cake. <laughs> yes, if you want to see when we want on the, uh, the Universal Studios uh, studio tour, we'll put the video right over there. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Dale Baker, Cynthia Santos, Laura and Scott and Don Babcock. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.